Ah, homemade ice cream. Taste that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. And it was made by the culinary students at Doña Ana Community College at New Mexico's premier culinary institute. How can you be a student? Well, joining me now is the senior instructor, Chef Tom Drake. Chef Tom, nice to see you. And why am I eating your homemade ice cream with a fork? Because if you eat it with a spoon, all you taste is the bottom of the spoon first. The fork allows you to taste the ice cream as it bleeds through the tines. Mm. Your students made this? Absolutely. Okay, tell us about this program. You have a culinary arts program. It's an associate's degree. Where does it begin? What are the, what's the process? The process starts with our website. Go to dacc.nmsu.edu slash chef and that's where you start the enrollment process. Uh, our cohorts start in August and they run for two years. Uh, as long as they stay together, they do the work, they pass the classes, uh, they graduate within two years uh, with an associate's degree. Okay, it all begins for these students in what, and these are your words, not mine, Hell's Kitchen. Hmm, that doesn't sound too fun, <laughs> but it's where it all begins. Tell us about that kitchen. Correct, that's the first kitchen they'll uh, practice their uh, skills in. That's where they learn to burn themselves and stop the pain. That's where they learn to cut themselves and stop the bleeding. And they learn the, the, how rigorous our uh, industry truly is. Uh, it's long hours, they're on their feet the whole time, uh, and it's a lot of pressure. Uh, and one of the pressures we put on them is time management. That's the only ingredient that they cannot mess with. They can substitute other things, but time is one that they have to learn to manage. And so take us through the basics. I mean, like somebody, would you have to know anything to start this program? Uh, do you take them from zero to 60? Or I mean, like where, what, do you have to learn to chop and make sauces? How does that work? It's actually easier for us to teach somebody who has no skills coming in the door. No skills at because all. Because we don't have to teach them how to undo what they are doing wrong. Okay, so those weekend warriors that made, you know, homemade ice cream in their fridge at home, don't do that. Come on in, learn it right from the beginning. Correct, correct. And we teach, this uh, class is actually called Chilling, the Science of Ice Cream, because there's a science behind it. It's the ratios of fat and sugars. Uh, and so on uh, this class, we did uh, 14 different flavors of ice cream in one day. Oh my goodness. How did you know that I was addicted to ice cream? And that there's actually a, a problem for me. So th this was made by your students and this is one of the classes that they'll learn. But what else do they learn? I mean, like bakery or, or, or baking? We do have a phenomenal baking program. Uh, not only do we teach the fundamentals in four classes, uh, uh, my uh, co-instructor, Chef Castro, does that for us. Uh, we have a specialty uh, chef instructor, Jen Hart, and she teaches all the decorating and all the, the, the fine art of candies and sugar work. Okay, so when you're pretty much done with your first year or your first couple of semesters, Hell's Kitchen wraps up how? How do you pass out of Hell's Kitchen and then where does it go from there? They take a cooking practical. It's a blind cooking, so it's like chopped. They come in and they have a mystery box and they have uh, two hours to make two identical plates from five different recipes that we uh, train them on over the whole semester. Uh, they select uh, the uh, recipe for their, uh, their test and then we grade them based on the rubric of cleanliness and, and professionalism and plating techniques. Wow. It, they were good. And I'll tell you what, the students, awesome. They're so kind and their food, delicious. If you'd like to make a career out of making delicious food, go to the website. What was that again? It's dacc.nmsu.edu slash chef. Thank you, Chef Tom.